to admit it or not, most of us are guilty about looking in the mirror and kind of doing that, like the funny little face that you do in private that I just showed on camera. Yes, you did. Well, our next guest is going to make sure that you can fix that skin to make you look very, very young. Her name is Dr. Lydia Parker, who's a dermatologist. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Between the two of you, I feel very, very old with how youthful you both look. Oh, so, Michael. That's a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> Do doctor, what causes sagging, aging skin? Is it just gravity? Right. Well, gravity is always there. We can't fight it. But unfortunately, with time, we lose collagen. We lose elastic fibers. It actually all starts going downhill after age 21. Oh, oh my god. After age 21, our collagen starts gradually decreasing. We lose fat in our face. It's actually the one place we want to be a little fuller, a little Plumper. So 21 is that kind of downward. When should folks start using preventative measures? When should you really start taking good care of your skin? You know what? The earlier you start, the better. So if in your 20s you start even just with good sun protection because the sun ages us and we can prevent you know, we can prevent sun damage, and eating healthy is great for our skin too. But once women start to get into their 30s, commonly is a time when they start to notice little fine lines around the eyes, little lines here, and those smile lines start showing up. Yeah, the jowls. I just like to say, because I have them really, really bad, it's just because I smile all the time, but that's not You're really the case. You're a happy person, Michael. <laughs> sure, but that's not the case. It's just, that's just a sign of age, correct? Right, they are smile lines, and you know, even teenagers have them a little bit, but they get deeper as we start to sag a little bit. So there is a treatment though. I mean, you don't have to look like a marionette. There exactly. are treatments out exactly. there. Exactly, there sure are. Um, one of the most common treatments for these smile lines and these marionette lines over here is filler injections. And filler injections have been around for many years. The old collagen injections aren't around anymore because they didn't last very long. This is the newest filler. It's called Bellatero. Uh, similar to Juvederm and Restylane injections, but an instant fix. Literally can walk into the doctor's office with deeper lines and walk out with lines that just aren't so deep anymore. Bellatero's brand new, just came out a couple months ago in this country, but very soft, very natural looking, and it lets us treat those tiny little lines above our lip. Lipstick might run into those tiny little lines sometimes. It really seems to be better than all the others for those. So these are, these are types of ways that you can help your skin without drastic measures like plastic surgery. These definitely help a lot of people are afraid of that stuff, so there are other procedures that you don't really have to like go under the knife for, right? Right. There are a lot of non-surgical procedures. Sometimes it's called a liquid facelift, where really just with some little injections and key points, we can take years off our face. On average, since this, these are new uh, procedures, or the ones that we just talked about, on average, how long does that last? That, and because and, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to say, are I'm you thinking about doing it? You know, I want to know. It's last, you know. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, how long? Right, most filler injections, women like to touch it up maybe once or twice a year. You know, it's not oh. as often as needing to get your hair cut. It's not as often as needing to get your nails done. But once or twice a year for a little maintenance on the face works. If you want longer lasting results, there is a newer treatment called Laviv, okay. which uses your own collagen producing cells. We have pictures that show Laviv. Oh, wow. Similar results on the smile lines, the laugh lines, similar to Bellatero, but probably lasts longer because here we it's your own personal filler. Right, it's nothing artificial, and a lot of people do get wary about injecting foreign stuff into their face, but this is your yourself. This is your own cells. Yeah, we okay. take a little piece of skin behind your ear, and we can preserve your cells at your age right now, grow them as much as we want to, make syringes of your collagen producing cells, and put them back in you next year, five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, put your younger cells back in you to rejuvenate your face. That's amazing, that's like sci-fi in a way. <laughs> and there's no risk of allergic reaction because it's yourself. It's your, your own filler. And the last treatment is called all therapy, is that? All therapy is an ultrasound treatment. You know, we all want a little pick me up, we look in the mirror and pull up and need a little a tiramisu, which means a little pick me up. So all therapy uses ultrasound waves. They're like laser beams of ultrasound geared below the skin. If you look at the jawline, you know, with time, gravity pulls things down. Our face kind of blends into our neck, and we don't have a nice defined jawline. But when we tighten up the neck with ultrasound and tighten up the face with ultrasound, you see that nice, more youthful jawline returning. I love the fact that you don't have to go under the knife for any of this. 
and it looks amazing. We're going to put some information, though, Dr. Parker. We want to get this out to folks here. If you're interested, you can contact Dr. Lydia Parker right there on your screen, dermatologist. Number is 216-464-7333 for all of these procedures. And before we go, Men, are you seeing more men do it? And, and a second part of this question is, is more, are there different skin types that are more prone to sagging? Well, men have thicker skin, which is good. Good for you. Yeah. Um, but thinner you, skin types okay, yeah. <laughs> might sag a little more, but, but this, these treatments are for both men and women. All right. Wonderful. Everyone deserves to look beautiful. <laughs> Everyone. Absolutely. Men uh, and women alike. Well, doctor, thank you so much for sharing this information. I know a lot of people are going to contact you. Thank you. No one likes wrinkles. Well, I mean, I guess. Well, our next guest has wrinkles. <laughs> Caleb. It's He's the so ADL adorable. Pet.